if you already have a 360 video with light flicker in it, is there a way to reduce it or remove it in post? The answer is yes. So let's head over into Premiere Pro, but this technique can work in any video editor. The first thing you need to do in Premiere Pro is import your 360 video. Now this 360 video was provided to me by Andreas from Sweden. So thank you very much for letting me use your 360 video as an example. So if I play back this 360 video, you can see that there is plenty of light flickering and I'm going to show you a method to reduce the amount of light flicker so your video becomes more usable. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new YouTube 4K 16 by 9 timeline. I'm going to add this 360 video to it, reframe it to look towards the lights. So the first thing I'm going to do is click new sequence and I'm going to make sure the DSLR 1080p 30 preset is selected and change the sequence name to main. Then go to settings and next to frame size. Right now it's set to HD and I'm going to change it to 4K. So I'm going to change the horizontal to 3840 and the vertical to 2160. So now I have a 4K 16 by 9 YouTube timeline. Then I'll click OK. Next, I want to add this video into my timeline, but I don't want the audio. So I'm just going to drag the video only and add it into my timeline on track one and keep the existing settings. Then zoom into my timeline so I can see the footage more clearly. Then I'll just trim this footage to make it only 15 seconds long. About there. Now I'm going to add the GoPro FX reframe plugin to look towards the lights on the tree. So to do this, I'll go to effects, type in reframe and drag the plugin onto my footage. Then go to effect controls and change the projection to 3840 by 2160. So it fills the frame. Then I'm going to change the pan to look towards the tree and then change the tilt to look up towards the tree. Then adjust the lens curve to 70 to get rid of the fisheye distortion. And if I play this footage back, this is what we have so far. So you can see the light flickering all over the tree. So now let's go through how to reduce the light flicker. So first I'm going to select the first footage on the first track and press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy it. Then I'm going to select V2 and V1 on the second track and deselect V1 on the first track. And this will make sure that when I do paste the video, it will paste on the second track and not the first track. So now I will press Control V on the keyboard. So I have a copy of the first piece of footage. And I'll drag this second footage directly on top of the first one. So now they're aligned. And I'll move this marker head all the way to the beginning of my timeline. And I'll zoom in. Next, I'm going to move forward one frame in the timeline and with the second footage on track two, I'm going to move this footage to snap to the marker, which is one frame ahead. And I'm going to change the opacity of the footage on track two to 50%. And this is the before, so I'm going to hide the second layer. And this is after before, after, before, after. And that's how you can reduce light flicker in your video. That's it. Now you know how to remove light flicker from your 360 video. So if you learned something new, don't forget to leave a like. Definitely subscribe if you want to learn more about your 360 camera and I'll see you in the next video.